Quick thing, we're gonna spoil the shit out of this movie. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. it's just stop it right here. Just stop right here. Just stop. Go back, rewatch a lot of my old episodes. Go see it. And then when you go come see back. Endgame, come back and watch this. Yeah. Okay? Cool. And then cool. Okay. Tell us if you think the same thing. You uh, agree to yeah. that. <laughs> I'm a couple that lives happily ever after. <laughs> Hello, good people. <laughs> Welcome to Spot of Nerd. I've seen the movie twice. We're finally at the end of quite possibly the greatest 11 years of Marvel Cinematic Movie history. And it didn't disappoint. It is a work of art. It is a masterpiece. There are some things that are not great, but it truly was. If there was any way to finish off the MCU, this is the perfect way to do it. I would definitely agree with that. I almost think it would be a crime at this point for anybody to be like, I think it sucked. So, yeah, I, I, and I, I feel like you'd have online. mobs of people that would just like destroy you. Yeah, I've seen some people online that have kind of even like, you know, oh, it's the worst. I'm like, you just, you're just a troll. Avengers Endgame is three hours. It does not feel like three hours. You will, it'll fly by like without even you knowing. I actually was flying through the whole film. So, shock. Uh, it doesn't feel like, okay, that. True. Yeah. It does not feel like three hours. I was like thinking, why the hell would you make a three hour film? They, they did well, yeah. And so I can't deny the fact that they used the time well. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, two of my theories came true, but half of each theory. So one theory was Ant-Man, basically in the quantum realm, save everybody, because of course it's time travel. And then number two, if you've watched our previous episode with Captain Marvel, essentially Captain America Steve Rogers will stay back in time so that he can be with Peggy. So Rips your heart out, but at the same time, tears of joy and happiness. It's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. Um, we both agreed our favorite part of the film was the third act. You have Thanos versus Cap, Iron Man, and Thor. And it's, you know, they're getting their asses handed to us. They're beating Thanos a little bit. But then Thanos brings out his whole army. If we're gonna go out, this is how we're gonna go out. But before, you have the Hulk was able to get a hold of the gauntlet, snap his fingers, and bring everybody back because as Cap is just he's bleeding, he's beat up, his shield is destroyed, all of a sudden he gets a radio call from Falcon and you know that from that moment on everybody's coming into the scene. Spidey's coming, Black Panther's coming, Falcon's coming. And Doctor the way Strange. they present it it's was just so, the, like, so that wonderful. moment that I think, like I told you, that would be the moment almost that you want to cry or at least like you get emotional because it's just so like, you just feel this like hope. <laughs> <laughs> Surge and to have all of them together, yeah. like you said. I mean, I think that's incredible to bring every one in that scene and all those actors. Oh, and, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. The payroll. <laughs> Imagine if you've watched all Marvel movies, uh, literally everybody is in this film. Mm -hmm. They did not leave. They even brought the kid from Iron Man 3 who has grown up into this film. Fuck. Yeah. They like, did a good job. There were things that weren't great. Okay, what would you rate it? One out of ten, what would you rate it? Oh, 30. Okay. Absolutely 30. It's it's the greatest, like, this movie deserves an Oscar. This movie deserves to be put on because. an Oscar level. It just, again, I can't, there's still no words. You know when you just, you've yeah. seen it and you're just like, it ties all yeah. the stories together. It brings everybody together. It still inspires you visually, writing, character development. Like, oh, it's just perfection in a way. Was it, did I say two? Two gripes. One that we agree on, one that we're whatever. Number one is, I didn't like Fat Thor. And I get why Fat Thor is there, but it just didn't really... It was cute, it was funny, but then it was a little... Especially at the end, when it's the three of them. Iron Man, Thor, and Cap versus Thanos. He's still fat, and he's Thor. He's supposed to be ripped and gorgeous, and all this other stuff. And so he has a crush on Thor. Yeah. <laughs> Bigger than my crush on Thor. And then uh. the other one we agree on... Oh. Captain Marvel. Yeah. 
again, I'm not blown away. You know, Captain Marvel, I just have an issue with her character a little bit. But then the other thing about that, if you take that away, when she shows up in the movie, it seems silly to me. Like, it comes at a moment where they need help, and she's let them basically do everything on their own. And then all of a sudden she flies in and she's like, oh, let me help you. Let me take care of all of that. Oh, here I am. And it just felt like fake, I guess. I don't know. I'm just like, well, People where are dying left and right. Like, and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I guess I should show up. Maybe there's some better philosophy around that that I just don't understand. I'm too, like, I don't, I'm not nerdy enough or something. But I just don't like how she just arrives at that moment and that's it. And it's... I think I would have liked her to be involved a yeah. little bit more. Just Tying done. back to what you and I talked about in Captain Mar Captain Marvel review, I'm just, I think it's Brie Larson. I'm not sold on her. And I think that's what killed it. This character could be so amazing. You look at Black Panther. Black Panther came like it, movie 18 or right, whatever it right. was, like super late into the franchise. Yeah. But he was so inspirational. Wakanda and the Africans and like all this stuff. And you really, like, he had a place in this universe. Captain Marvel is just there. But again, I think it's twofold. I think it's one, it's Brie Larson. We're not sold on her, which is just an opinion. That's personal opinion, whatever. Um, and then the other part of it, though, is even if she was the actress and they developed that more, I could have been better with it. Like, if she was more involved, like I said, if the storyline had her, like, more involved in some sort of way... She just shows up Then when I it's would time. have been like, okay, well, whatever. At least she, like... She was involved, so I'm not sold on her as an actress, but whatever. I hate it, I already told you. We gave, like, Iron Man obviously is like this huge emotional thing, and I get it. It works well. Tony, we love you! Yes, and Iron Man always my, is my favorite. Yeah. Gee, I wonder who my favorite is. We don't. So, Iron Man, we give this big homage, whatever, but we don't do anything for Black Widow. Yeah, that's true. She sacrifices herself off of a cliff, and we do, we're just like, hmm, that's sad. Okay, anyways, like, <laughs> there's no... Back to the fight. Ah, uh, yeah, and it doesn't have to be all about the, just the fact that she's a girl. No, it could have been Thor. I don't care. It just was like, literally, we go through all this emotional trauma for Tony, which makes sense, but we don't pay any respect, really, to Black Widow. It's just like, oh, she didn't return. Yeah. Ugh, I mean, she was such, like, a care like, in the... She's like caring about them so much. She's the one at the beginning of the very beginning of the film. She's like, if we owe it to the people who are not here in this room to make this effort happen, she brings the people together and then she sacrifices herself. I don't know. I just, my heart broke a little bit for that. Let's rest. get to the time travel. Yeah, exactly. Like, what did you think of that? Did you think they developed the story pretty well? Like, I was blown away, even just from the beginning. And again, if you've seen it, it's violent. They're fucking like, let's go get this asshole and fucking chopping his arm off and then fucking Thor chopping his head off. This is how you're going to start this film? All right. <laughs> I guess so. The stones are done. They're gone. He, he eradicated them. Next scene is five years later. Yeah. So they've been in this world for five years. Time travel, let's go back in time. Mm -hmm. And yes, they poke fun at it. We talked about it, the parodies of, it's a time travel film. It's not gonna make sense. It's like Back to the Future yeah, and there was Hot Time Machine and that's... you're just, it's, it's a movie, it's yeah. time travel. It doesn't make sense, but the concept is phenomenal. And the way they, the way they did it was just epic in every sort of way. Um, spoiler without context, technically a rat saves the world. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> so with all that said, what did you rate it as? I would give it about a 9. I It's not a 10 for me. They did a really fantastic job. You've got to give them props. Like, I get why this film is getting the reviews. I get why you need to go see it. If you're into Marvel at all, you'd be a fool just to not see this at all. Um, and that's coming from someone who is not nearly to the nerdy, nerdy level. <laughs> yeah. And I'm a lucky son bitch. <laughs> Kudos like that. All the characters that came through, the storyline does keep you, it keeps you entertained. So it's not like you are, I've had movies where you're kind of like, Captain Marvel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Clearly, we're not a fan of this character yeah, at yeah. all. Yeah. And I love Wonder Woman, so it's not like a girl thing. I fucking hate it. I know, Woman. which is really ridiculous. Because <laughs> Wonder Woman blew ass. Yeah. It yeah, what kind of ass? Sparkly rainbow ass? Because I don't know what kind of ass you're talking about. Like, the, the awesome kind? 
No. Oh. The, the, the deflated, like, you need to eat a taco ass. No, anyway. I think they had some, it was amazing um, in, in how they tied it up. Mm -hmm. I mean, just, you feel completed. Everybody's story is complete. You feel good at the end. Yeah. yeah. Even with Tony's death, even with Iron Man's death, you know, it's that he's overlaying his audio over, you know, everybody's yeah. story. And it's kind of, not everything is a happy ending. I love you 3,000. I saying? love you all 3,000. love you 3, Those that follow, those, those that support. Saying. I truly, I'm not saying that just to be silly. I really do love you 3,000. <laughs> Avengers Endgame, a great way to... Have a 50th episode with Spot of Nerd. Truly thanks to Senorita Valerie. <laughs> I mean, seriously, who'd have thought we'd get fucking 50 episodes with this shit? It's. <laughs> Ole! <laughs> I did sing about like, La, La Cucaracha, not realizing it's about roaches. <laughs> if anything, I mean, let's say, well, our final, my final thought for this it's episode 50, Spot of Nerd. Seriously, thanks to Stan Lee who created all of this, you know. This is not the end of Marvel. This is not the end of Cap and Iron Man and all the Avengers. This is the end of this chapter. Did he have a cameo? Who? Sorry. Yeah, when, yeah, when they're rolling through, um, they oh, go back to 1970, he's the, make love, not war. He looks all like Elvisy in the Mustang. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. well, we're gonna see it again, obviously. Yeah. Thank you for giving us these characters stories. Thank you to Marvel. Thank you to Disney for buying Marvel <laughs> and making these movies a reality. Thank you to all the actors and actresses and the fans and even, you know, I'm not going to thank myself. <laughs> the conception just, and the writers, like everyone who put it together. It's all just, the this is together. what keeps me going a lot of the time, you know, in just life in general. This is my world right here to my left. You should know that always. But when I'm not with her, this is what keeps me going. The jackets, the, the fan base. The jackets. <laughs> it's an inspiration, it's a passion, it's a love. I look forward to what the future is gonna bring. This is gonna be something that will go for centuries and I cannot wait to see what they have in store next. So many more reviews that we get to do. Yes! <laughs> Movies like this are awesome because they have turned into something that is really something for everyone to be able to come and enjoy and to take things away from. I think there used to be this um, sense of only nerds were interested in the comics, only geeky people, you know, had that love. But now you talk to most anyone and they have some sort of appreciation for for this kind of film. It brings people together. And I think that's the, the biggest thing that we can think an organization or something like this for is bringing like a exactly. It's and a similar sense. Like I've said, to bounce off of that, like I've, I, I've always said this from day one, this is all fiction. And in today's world of social media and everybody's angry and pissed and stuff, you can't get mad at this for somebody having a different opinion. We can joke around about Wonder Woman. It's fiction. It's a, it's a fictional character. You can't get pissed at me because I didn't like it. So that's what I appreciate, I, again, a lot about these films and the way they're portrayed and things like that. It's, it's because a safe zone. It's a safe zone. It really is. Yeah. In today's world, it's it's a safe zone, and I'm glad that we have this. It brings people together. So, until next time, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe! <laughs> <laughs> and we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Adios. Give us in the comment on YouTube, one. just rate it one to ten. What do you think? Ten being outstanding, one of course, fuck this shit. <laughs> yes, yeah, super excited. Never been to Comic Con, so he's gonna be obviously uh, singing the whole time, taking all the video. I'm gonna be dressing up, trying to figure out how to walk. I've seen around. some previews of the costumes, you do not want to miss that.